Hello stationers. So this video is going to be how to put together the, the solar panel uh, script that's up on Steam. So to do it, you're going to need two logic memories, an IC, IC housing, and two logic IOs for batch riders, a bunch of cable, solar panel, APC, and two sensors. So we'll start by putting our solar panel down. We want to face the power so it is towards sunrise. Make our glass sheet. And we'll go ahead and wire up the data here. power going. So the output we're going to want to send through this uh, APC, we'll set that down here. Open it up with the crowbar. Take our small battery. Where'd my wire go? So from the solar panel, it's going to come into the APC here. And let's see, how do we want to do this? Take a memory. Make our other memory. These need to be a batch writer. We'll orient it with power on top. The other batch rider. Yeah. Go. Power on top. And we'll take our IC housing. Over here, power on top. And in our IC. Oh yeah, we need the two sensors. So the first one's going to be the horizontal sensor. And if your solar panel is facing east, you need to put this one facing south. And this other one is going to be the vertical sensor. Doesn't really matter how this faces. Let's get the data wired up here. I guess I could just do that. This one's got to come up and around. That one's got to go. That one comes up into there. Let's get our power going. Into the APC. It's got to go out to the solar panel. Run that up there. 
the wire cutters out again. Okay, now we need to get this programmed. I think I can wire it in right there. Now, why are you blinking? There we go. These are my IC housing. Just turn these on. <laughs> I wonder if you can program a powered off chip. So open your library. This one is on Steam, so we're going to go ahead and import that. Does this have an error in it? Operate. No, that looks okay. No beeps. Hmm, no device. Uh, it needs to run the commands. Okay, so we'll take some power over here temporarily. Now it should turn on. Close that for good luck. Export. Okay, now we're good to go. Take out the trusty screwdriver. Actually, let's label these things. So, this is going to be daylight sensor horizontal. This one's going to be vertical. That can just be IC housing. Then this will be, oh, screwed these up. And let's see, put back our labeler. Take out the drill. Oh, that one's okay. You need to be a batch writer. That is a very easy mistake to make. We'll go with horizontal on this. Go with vertical on this. This will be our memory horizontal. This will be memory vertical. Now we can get out the trusty screwdriver. So this one here needs to be the vertical base sensor. H day sensor is the horizontal day sensor. This one needs to go to any solar panel. Now you want to take your batch writer. The output is going to be solar panel. The variable will be horizontal. And the input will be the logic memory horizontal. And that's the horizontal chip. Now for the vertical chip, output type, solar panel, output variable, need the screwdriver. Vertical. And the input will be the memory vertical. So looks pretty set up there. The solar panel's rotating. 
Though the first night it is not going to point towards sunrise. We do have a little charge there. Let's disconnect this thing. Go ahead and cut that. So it's okay if this thing unpowers during the night. I'm surprised all of these turned off. Oh, there we go, on. <clears throat> okay, well, look, here comes the sun. Got the vertical, horizontal. Now, as soon as it sees grid sunlight, yes, it is going to adjust itself to point the sun. And the next night, when it becomes dusk, it's going to flip around and point towards sunrise again. Let's wait for the sun to come up here. Come on, sun. Technically, it is not sunrise yet. Okay. So it did not move. Let's check things out here. 79 degrees. The horizontal is at zero still. Something is going on with horizontal. There's our horizontal rider. It's also zero. Output type solar panel, horizontal, logic memory horizontal. So that's the problem, is that that's not getting the right value. So the output for that is here. Ah, we are sending it to the daylight sensor. That needs to go to there we go. Jetpack. On. What are you doing, solar panel? Hmm. Why is it pointing that way? Seem quite right. Hmm, that was odd. Okay, now we're getting ninety nine percent. I guess it just needed to be reprogrammed again. I do notice that the labels, the yellow labels are showing up now. E5 has no connection. So this thing's just going to track the sun all day. Uh, I guess I'll wait around till evening and return then. So the sun's starting to go down here. We're still getting 100%. Almost to the bottom vertically.
One thing I noticed is that uh, this sensor is going to say it's day, uh, nighttime, but this thing's still going to be getting power. So part of lo the logic here is on this pin D3, that's why you connect it to the solar panel. So even if this thing says it's night, if this thing still detects that it's getting charged, it's going to remain uh, in the position it last was, tracking the sun. You don't lose any energy that way. Alright. Down to 95%. Still technically daylight. Still daylight. Any minute now, okay, so it's not daylight. Uh, I did switch over. <laughs> I don't know if there was charge left in that or not. But it's uh, going to its wait for sunrise position. And I put a small battery in here because it doesn't matter if this thing turns off overnight. Because as soon as the sun peaks over the horizon, this thing's going to get charged. It's going to start uh, charging the APC again, and this thing's all going to turn back on. So obviously you're going to want to get more solar panels on Mars, maybe 10 or 11. Just wire them all up and it should work. Now if you want to try out this IC, I'll put a link for uh, Steam in there. Have a good day.